Hey, what's up everybody? Grace here, back with some more Anthem news, and today we have some big announcements to go over regarding the big April content update that is set to drop sometimes in the second half of this month, so hopefully as soon as next week. If you missed this, Anthem's main Twitter account, as well as various folks over at Bioware, just announced a new livestream for next week. So according to the announcement, the next Anthem livestream will be on April 17 at 3 p.m. Central Time. Tune in as Banner, Ving, and Special guests talk about the sunken, a new stronghold coming later this month. So it all looks very exciting, of course, we also have a brand new screenshot or well concept art regarding it and uh, there's quite a little bit of information in it, a lot of information that a lot of people seems to have skipped and uh, you know there's a lot of you know talk in the community right now, a lot of mixed opinions. Generally speaking though I'm seeing most of the folks being very excited about the new Omni that is about to come up and uh, there's a few negative comments here and there, we're gonna go over that in just a bit. I also want to see the community's reaction to this because this is exactly what people wanted. More content in the game and more stuff to do and of course what better way to do that rather than having a new stronghold. Will that be enough? It remains to be seen and it also remains to be seen what this new update will contain outside of just the stronghold. So let's go over all of this starting of course with the screenshot itself or the concept art and here it is. It shows just a introductory section maybe, obviously all underground as the name even implies, the sunken. Now if you zoom in you will see quite a bit of detail rather than just, you know, a platform in the middle. I know a lot of people have complained about it looking uh, quite similar to other sections of the game where other platforms have been used. Honestly, it doesn't look like that to me and I'm gonna tell you why. You can see the water theme going on over here, like it looks like this place has been underwater for ages and all of a sudden that water was probably made to disappear. Now if you look at this construction in the middle of this platform, you can kinda see where that water went to. It kinda looks like it's going upwards or maybe downwards. Nonetheless, it reminds me of the introductory mission that we had in the beginning of the game where the waterfalls used to go upwards instead of downwards as it would be normally and that was because it was affected by a shaper relic. So this looks kinda like the same to me, it looks like either this relic affected the water around it, either that or one of the faction caused that relic to get out the water in order to find something very important here. So we don't know what that is, but if you zoom in real big, you will see that this platform isn't just, you know, a normal platform, it's actually a much bigger section because there's a javelin over there, a lot of people think it's probably an outlaw, which I really hope it is, but if you zoom in, you will see that that outlaw looks like a freaking ant compared to how big that platform is. So there's much more to it than a lot of people might believe. It doesn't appear to be just another platform you have to stay on inside of a circle or anything. And you kind of have to start thinking, what is this even place doing? What's the purpose of this place? What's even going to be happening over here? Because the initial concept art that we saw a couple of weeks back made us believe that this would be just another Dominion stronghold or somewhere along those lines. But if you look here, it's actually much different, there is a different theme going on and of course a lot of people are speculating that since these javelins look a little bit like our javelins they might be just outlaws, so it might be that, it might be just our teammates, since there's only a total of 4 on the map, but honestly I doubt that, as I don't really see a full team of rangers going in the sunken and doing all of that, I mean, there has to be more significance to this image than that. Anyway, we're not really sure what the end boss is gonna be like, but knowing how the previous ones were, I'm expecting it to be quite distinct, so all of them have their own different mechanics, all of them, they are hard in their own different ways, and they all seem quite interesting. Interesting, you know, at least at the surface level, they give a little bit of a challenge, especially on the higher difficulties. So I'm really curious what kind of creature would we have to fight in such a place. I am honestly expecting something abyss related, so anything in the theme of water, like I'm not sure, a huge kraken maybe, maybe something along those lines, maybe some sort of creature water related, I mean this is the kind of monster I would expect lurking in one of these places. But anyway, let's move over to what the community has to say about this, and as I've said, there's quite a lot of mixed opinions here and there, 
with the vast majority of the comments actually being quite excited about the new update. But you know, since it's easy to bash Bioware right now, there's also a lot of negative comments. I'm not gonna focus on that too much because it's just the same old stuff being repeated over and over again. But we do have some interesting talking points over here. I'm going to start with one of the first. And a lot of users I see requesting a little bit more info from this new update. One user said, I do hope you have more than just the stronghold for the next update. If it's a miss again, this could be a complete game over for Anthem. We all want this game to succeed succeed my man and that is true we all want this game to succeed I do want to see more of Anthem I am enjoying it despite its problems and despite the criticism I sometimes bring on this channel another user said excited to see what's coming any chance we'll see some of the mastery slash progression stuff and I do agree with them, I am kind of waiting for that mastery system, especially so since the skill point system for the pilot was kind of scrapped since the alpha, and one user even raised this concern, looking forward to it, hope to hear something about when you're going to bring back the level point system, something like you had in the closed alpha, I'll be holding off on the game till then, and yeah, this is something that a lot of people have been raising as a concern since the betas, and a lot of stuff on the gear right now should be brought up to that leveling system. I'm not gonna go over that because I went way too many times in the past over it. So we're gonna move over to some of the other replies coming up from people. And we have a lot of talking points over here from both Reddit and Twitter. And another person brought up a very good point about changing the landscape and about a statement that Bioware made a long time ago regarding how the world itself would be changing over time. And he said they spoke about the world of Anthem changing over time. They really need to move forward with some of it, dry up the water, freeze the landscape, something, then switch up the world events and make big rewards for every high difficulty opponent. Stronghold additions are nice, but unless it has puzzle elements to it that it will take freelancers time to decipher and or big rewards at the end, people are going to chew it up. I love this game, I enjoy playing it, it just needs more variety. And uh, yeah, honestly, I think this stronghold should bring a little bit more variety in the meantime. I mean, it qualifies as content. It's something that a lot of people wanted to see. There's a lot of people being negative about it. Not really sure why. I mean, this is exactly what people wanted from day one. So there's no reason to complain about, you know, just having new content in the game. Yes, it should have been there in the first place, but we're getting it now. So instead of complaining that we're getting it in the first place, why not say that we want more? I think that is probably the logical way to go from here. Anyway, regarding the live stream, I saw a few suggestions here and there regarding how the setup should be going. Of course, Ben Irving is going to come back to doing the live stream himself again there's going to be some guests in there as well and this got a lot of people kind of wind up a little bit because well Ben Irving is in the middle of a controversy of his own but one Twitter user suggested make sure the live stream demo play is GM3 please that should be a hood to watch the grind the death the blues and the purples and yeah it should probably spice up a little bit the live stream though i doubt the actual developers will be playing it starting from the previous live stream they kind of used somebody else to play in the background while they were talking about some of the upcoming changes i think that is a much better format i think ben irving and whoever is going to be talking in that live stream should not be playing the game themselves and actually leave the rest of the team in the background play it and use that as a background footage if they want to otherwise if they spend time doing gm3 it might just be them dying over and over again and not going anywhere besides in their live streams Bioware always went over you know showing different types of content showing different types of stuff that they have been fixing so if they want to showcase something they would obviously need to exit the stronghold and not do it in GM3 this is of course assuming that they would be showing something else rather than just the stronghold itself another talking point that I see being mentioned very often is about the loot drops so love to get excited about this but if there's no talk about the loot drop increase then it's more of the same more grinding for purples and blues. When somebody talks about having more content in the game, somebody comes in and says we need better loot. When somebody comes in and says we need better loot, somebody else says we actually need better content and it ends up being this circle where nobody can escape from because both of these issues are actually, you know, true. They both coexist and both need to be fixed at the same time. So with new content, I believe that we should have some increased loot drops as well, or at the very least, other means by which we can get reliable loot over time. Time. Some form of progression system which also seems to be in the roadmap and that comes in the form of the weekly stronghold challenges. So hopefully those weekly stronghold challenges 
will contain some legendary items or at the very least some masterworks that are guaranteed to be given to you. I think there's no reason for Bioware right now to hold off the loot drops simply because it's so RNG and the stats on it are so RNG to the point that even if they buff up the loot to extreme levels, it will still take you quite a lot of time to actually make a perfect build. But yeah, I digress, I don't want to talk about this subject too much. What I do want to go over before ending this video is your opinion about this new teaser. What do you think about this new teaser image? Are you excited about the new stronghold? Are you looking forward to it? Comment your opinion down below and I'm going to feature the best comments in the next video. So uh, that's it for now with the announcements. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, of course, a thumbs up and a subscribe would be super appreciated. And I'm going to see you guys next time.